Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. It's the fourth seed versus the fifth seed of the NBA playoffs. And we are back in the Western Conference section as the Jazz is about to face on against the Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, that's right. Because we know that the Dallas Mavericks has already gotten a, another chance to take the here for next season, there might be a good chance if they could try to play against the Utah Jazz for a number one. This might be the only game that nobody has ever heard of it before. But what of you were saying? Who does who does have the average better? Well, <laughs> the, if you look on the other side, only Luka Doncic has only 95 of his overrated. He's like overrated player, but turned to be back from the Euro League that played here in basketball. Better than the other players as much. And the only only player that went high enough was only him. It was Donovan Mitchell, only 87, but he might be getting close to 90 for sure. But we're not sure if there is another change up here. Yeah, well, let's see what we can do here for the first game. And we are about to start the progress here of the game. Here's the lineups for the Utah Jazz. Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Royce O'Neal, Bohan Bogdanovich, and Rudy Gobert, the defensive player of the game. And the other side for Mavericks, Speedbone, you take here, Luka Doncic, Jalen Brunson, Reggie Bullock, Dorian Finney-Smith, and D.Y. Powell. Now let's get you on in Dallas of the American Airlines Center to start the first game of the playoffs. Nice Metropolis look here of Dallas. It's turning out to be very nice. And here we are. The first game is happening here at the American Airlines Center. With all with the, me and me phone, David Aldridge will be reporting here on the sidelines. We have got a lot of great players here. And here's the status look of Mike Conley. This season, 44% was turning out just okay. But the last five games was 58 percentage. Three-point average was 48. It wasn't able to pick up air enough. At the time, we also enjoyed it here, too. And, yep, we got David here on the court. Let's have a look here. David, this is all yours. Good evening to you, Kevin. Donovan Mitchell is precocious beyond his years. He says, I lead a lot to my voice. It's natural for me. Coach Quinn Snyder said, the way Donovan carries himself is infectious. There's an innocence to the way he plays. He's not showboating, he's just smiling. He loves to compete. Guys? Thank you, DA. A lot of competing friends, a lot of good times for you. And guys, for me and Beefone, we're just putting up here there are a lot of players. I think this should be a lot much fun. What do you think, Beefone? Yeah, sure. Every time, I think this should be a fun matchup. In between those guys, I think we might handle it all. If there's another chance here to make the podium even more bigger, better, and sometimes even it goes in from best players. The tip-off is ready to begin, and we have Dallas Mavericks winning the tip-off here, and we are un on our uh, field up, and we're ready to go. Starting off is Luka Doncic right to Powell. Powell in the drive, and it will be off the target range as Mitchell will hit the first rebound in the game. Donovan Mitchell is able to make his score of their beauty from his game. What is your take here of Donovan Mitchell's key point to have this matchup? The key point of the matchup that happened here for Donovan Mitchell, he knows what he can do. Last time he played with the with the San Antonio Spurs and made a win right after him in a regular season. But now this time, they might be going through at another angle. Up over Luka Doncic, it's off and target, and it's Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Rudy Gobert got better at it. But Donovan slams the ball, and this one goes with the first dunk in the first game. Almost deflected loose, and there calls for a block. That's on Rudy Gobert with his first personal. Yep, you can't let that man get right on defense. You know that was going to be a very tough call. 
because if it would have been offensive foul, we would have a bigger problem to break the Vermeer. Jalen Brunson scoring his first bucket for the Mavericks. And they are trailing by two. Now here's Mitchell, covered by Brunson. Now he goes right back to O'Neal, to Conley, for three, open range, and fires it across. That will be a first three-pointer for Mike Conley after playing with Dallas four games for this season. And especially that you know from regular season did help him out. But moment at that time, I think they all are going to do it a lot much better here if they can bank it out there. A lot of play picks in between. Bullock around O'Neal, and a shot is off, and that will be a first foul called on Royce O'Neal. His first, second team foul on Utah. Reggie Bullock will be heading to the free throw line to shoot two for Mavericks. Reggie Bullock is just quite strong with the move. Most of that time, that you know that Dallas Mavericks always plays that much, they can handle and knock things on the board to have them pressure. But now, it might be his one to start the season of the postseason. His shot came up way early. And he will have to reset himself back to the free throw line to shoot one more. And he makes the second free throw. That'll be one out of two for Reggie Bullock. Reggie Bullock just getting there better, but he might have to get more practice out of him if he wants to keep shooting the free throws. Here's Mitchell, takes a three on the outside, and it's rebounded by Gobert. Eddie Gobert slams right onto Bullock. One more look at that dunk. You can't just get knocked out already because he's tall. Looks like all the players gotta really take cover for pressure. I know. That's a lot of quick moment out there, presented by the AT&T Slam Dunk for your 5G internet assets. I'd like to see what they could do. Maybe that time it might work. Powell, dish off to Donkic. Five to shoot. With the fade, lay it up. It will go. Count the bucket through, and they are trailing by four. Luka Doncic gets his first bucket of the game, and now it's Mike Conley with the ball. O'Neal in the wing on covering of Bullock. The three-pointer for, for Mitchell is off target and center. Sometimes that better defense can definitely get break the pressure out here, and they know that they, it's their job. Three for Powell. Rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Another miss here for Dallas three-pointer. Conley. Stays alive, finds Gobert, goes around it, and he scores easy as the first timeout is called by Dallas Mavericks with 2.01 left. It's 11 to 5, Jazz up ahead by 6. Jazz is really good because you know that they already uh, beat the, the team in the first round against the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm pretty sure we're looking at the better timing if we're looking right ahead, if, if there's any chance that we might be taking it from here, or from this side. And for joining us for the, uh, for the next game, the next game will be happening here in game number two. That's because the, for all the first games are complete, and then we will head over to game number two to start the Eastern Conference, and a Western Conference on the other side. So the first matchup will be happening here, which will be uh, here on Tuesday, that is, of course, the only player that does have it all. The Cavs and the Bucks, two, 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 the two seed versus seven seed again back in Milwaukee. And then we will see the number team, the Pelicans, against the other team. Well, you know, especially when you found that one here, the Phoenix Suns. That will be happening here back at Phoenix, Arizona at the Footprint Center. The new changes have been released here. Dallas making new changes. And Mavericks are have Dinwiddie, Kleba, Brown, 
and, and Brunson, and of course, you know, like this guy. Bertans. Right now, another another pointer score is putting up on putting up on Bay. Now he goes right over to Brunson. Brunson, pass off to Bertans. Bertans back to Brunson. Just five on the clock. Kleba can't make the play of the rebound, and this will go the other way. Now the foul has reached on with the personal for Clarkson. And checking out these standings, Dallas and Utah got close call, contact each other, might be looking for another one to take the effort. I'm pretty sure that did turn out to be just close because you're never going to know if they're going to get back in there. Sometimes you really got to be ready. Brown, unable to make the three, and that will be early release for the Mavericks. Clarkson alone drives and dunks it through. That will be the first basket for Clarkson. And now the Jazz is up by 10. Moving up, and back it goes down. Brunson with another scoop and drive. No three-pointers yet given out for Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, because the defenders are getting better at it, we may not be able to see them play if they're wanting to get through it. Nice, good drive here for Clarkson. Easy problems, easy go. And they are extending it by 10. Brunson, right to Maxi Kleba. Up around, denied by Whiteside. And he does it again. The Mavericks are moving the ball quickly. Bertans for three. And it's just a call. First three-pointer for Dallas Mavericks is on the board. Great shooting technique here for Bertans. Now he knows that the Mavericks are up down by seven to make the run play. Clarkson in nowhere behind. And they will have to close the first quarter. It's 17-10. Jazz is picking up a great run out there in the first quarter. And we got the second quarter coming up after this break. Thinking back from when I started you know, overseas, summer camps, mini camps, to where I am now. You know, just an honor to be in the position that I am. I'm grateful for the opportunity. So, and I can tell my story to my younger kids. Just the journey, never give up. Of course he does overseas here for his journey. I already have seen it before, so if you'd like to check out the last game in the regular season of Jazz and Spurs, the calling card is right up there. Click it now to watch the video. Okay, up, and the foul has reached on Kleba. That'll be their first team foul for Dallas, and Kleba's first personal foul on the line. Shooting two will be Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay really got better at that point, but Maxi Kleba was bumping him up. You don't want the defenders to get right into the attack. You bump them out, then they're, you're just going to be calling a foul once you make that mistake. The Jazz are shooting a two out of three free throws here for tonight, and now this will be number three here for the Jazz, as Gay will shoot two at the free throw line. Gay hits the first free throw. And he gets the second free throw. That's two out of two for Rudy Gay. And the Utah is leading by nine. For times, rolls off to Kleba. Back to Brunson. Now he goes to Dinwiddie. Bertans wasn't able to look it around lately, but now Kleba does. He makes a great drive, avoiding the screen, and he takes it through. Great pass by Spencer Dinwiddie. A lot of great communication on offense. Keep it going with the run of Spencer Dinwiddie. He knows he can definitely do it. Clarkson outside. Nobody around, and it's off balance on the shot. Brunson goes right to Kleba. Now it's Brown. Rolls right over to Bertans. He finds a bounce pass to Dinwiddie. Backs to Kleba. 
Up he goes, and the foul is given by Pasco. His first personal, and that will be another team foul released on Utah. Third team foul is the call. Maxi Kleba, he's doing two out of two for the three of the shots, and now he will do it again at the free throw line. Yeah, just like before, Reggie Bullock, he really didn't want to take his time, so he went early on the first, but he made it in the second time. Take a break, take a break. Kleba hits the first. Now some new changes here for the Jazz and the Mavericks. As all five players are checked out, and the other all five players comes in, except Alexander Walker is leaving him point guard. And all five players switching, and Kleba will go to point forward after Finney, Smith, Bullock, Donkic, and Brunson are checked in. And the second free throw is good. D. White Powell. I forgot about that one here, so I'll, I kept forgetting. Now, here's Mitchell. He's covered by Dalkic. Double screen, who has gotten away. Spin move, deflect, and it's Powell with the steal. Can't find Rudy Gobert, and this will be a turnover on Utah. Now, Klebo. Dish off to Dalkic. Now he goes right to Klebo. Right to, to Powell, around him, and it's tight gap and it's knocked away. Finding over Mitchell and a good shot here for Donkic. Not really picking up his behind, but a good shot for Mitchell. Another pass here was going in just wide for Alexander Walker. Donkic scoops it in there. That's another two-pointer for Donkic. The Mavericks are still wandering, wandering off, but they don't want to appear to be too late. Oh man! Mitchell hitting a three at a timeout will be released here on Dallas Mavericks. Mitchell, he is just get things away. And with all the notes he picked, he know he really wants to bring things back after being defeated here in the second round against the Clippers. So right now it's 24 to 16 score with under three minutes to play here in the first half. Now we'll make some new changes here to try to try to zone it out a bit. And not to worry, there, there might be a lot much time left before the first half comes to a close and the second half to bring up for the next one after halftime show. New changes is being released as Din Ready will be checking in. And I look at the status for Rudy Gobert. He has the most average, but the in-between neck of even score was 2021 to 2021-22. That's going to be even a close call with 13.5. Yeah, I, I always seen that Rudy Gobert was getting there a bit, a lot much better. But moment at that time, he didn't really, really have the uh, advantage to take the record in the league. So what he could do now is just get better into the new season, and then if he makes it in the lead, well, you know, a lot, of, a lot of things happening around here. He might be going for the, going for the leadoff win. Mitchell on bullet. Now he goes right over to Alexander Walker. Walker back past to Rudy Gobert. Over bullet, and that's a good shot here. Another two pointer for Rudy Gobert after Alexander Walker's the assist. Alexander Walker's doing a very good job out there. But I think what he needs to know, that his timing could be a little bit short. Without wasting the shot clock, it might be hard. We're under two minutes here for the first half. It's now 26-20. Alexander Walker finding a man on average. And he all alone dies through and he makes a dunk. A number two pointer for Alexander Walker. And they are up by eight. Bullet, on the other hand, Gobert, watching him, Rudy Gobert, has not seen his average of the game after Donkic was playing his average career. Sometimes it gets things better. Well, I know that before. I know that before he did really have it all, but sometimes he gets there a little, a little tad late right to find Luka Donkic that time. He doesn't know what he could do, 
by Vito's, but he gets better. Wow, what a play here for another, another blocking drive from Rudy Gobert to the other player. I don't know who that was. It looks like it was Royce O'Neal or could be Donovan Mitchell. I have nothing to say about that. Donkic right to Vinny Smith. Pass, fades. Donkic fades again. Tries it forward and he made it number two. Luka Donkic gets six points in the game and they're averaging it up with another scoring combos in between Mavericks and Jazz. Mitchell finds over to Alexander Walker. Up he goes and he makes a good shot here. Another two points for Alexander Walker and Mitchell takes the assist. A lot of great, great pointer time in there. Might be a little bit hard, but you know, every time it gets there, it gets things better. Bullock for three. Oh yeah! He made it that point and he went right off that sideline. Didn't stay balanced enough. Well, he's now back in there. Well, number two, that's for Mitchell. He is doing good out there. He's going to be hitting the street pointing if he wins again. And a foul, released on Gobert, and it'll be his second personal 14 foul on Utah. Now it's Luka Doncic heading to the free throw line, stopping the clock at 11.5 seconds. Luka Doncic, he might be going for a bigger time here if he makes that one right in the point average. That's good for the first. And last time you know that Luka Doncic has gotten a lot of average here in this game. I know for his secret, because of that playing in the Euro League, he knows that he's the, like, the best player that he has done. I wonder what will his next uh, record will be. Well, you'll have to find out later then. Well, you guess it right. Good on the second. Doncic just got eight. Now down to 10 seconds. Clarkson right against Brunson. Five seconds to go. Clarkson taking a deep with the buzz beater. And it's no good. First half is closed. 34-27 is your leadoff score for Utah. And we'll have a quick break here right after this. But let's go down to DA quick. Thanks very much, with Point Snyder, coach. Great offense in the first half. What made it possible? I think we're executing pretty well. Um, we're moving them around a little bit with some fakes. The guys are just playing aggressive as much as anything. We can get a few more stops. It's been good so far, coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you. Be right back after this. Commentators turned off. Let's have your recap look here for the first half of the game. Mavericks and Jazz. have been updated. That's it for today. Let's head you back to Dallas to start the second half of the game. Until next time, folks. We'd like to welcome you back here at the American Airlines Center. The third quarter is about to start. It's 34-27. With the last take, Luka Doncic is picking up a great entire regular season of his career. And with all, without any questions after all, he knows that he can try to do his next step on the way to make the future of NBA to be the superstar into the legendary. I guess that might be a good changing, but sometimes he might be on level three here for the superstar. Most of the players don't really have the average to take the advantage, but most of all the people think that Luka Doncic is awesome. What a great deflection here for Donkic, but it won't be enough to take the second block of the game as McDonavich has already scored inside the paint. Now it will be Powell. The screen, he will be helping him out. Donkic inside. 
And another miss here by Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks are not executing it right instantly. That time it was very, very difficult to make this decision to go in there. Oh boy, it looks like it's O'Neal slamming inside, and they are catching it up to put the win here in game one. I know, Royce O'Neal did get there. He knows this time, gets better into it. Powell fades, finds Donkic. Around Gobert, and a foul is given on Mike Common. The first personal and the first team foul releases on Utah, adding another one. Now Luka Doncic will head back to the free throw line the second time. In each uh, period of each quarters, they know that Luka Doncic can definitely do things over and over again. But most of all, the players definitely need to rehydrate it and get better at the free throw. So they need the average to hit their second chance effort in order to make a comeback. He has his first bucket in there. Good on the second. Luka Doncic on a perfect line at the free throw, and it's now 38-29. Mitchell goes inside. Here he goes. Oh, my goodness. Another slam cam for AT&T. Look at that drive. Wow, I don't believe that. When you go for the slam one just like Air Jordan, he goes on flying high and mile down low. And that was your take here of the slam dunk presented by AT&T 5G, the ultimate internet access. We got another two points of each of the, the slam dunk, one for Gobert and one for Donovan Mitchell. And the rejection turned out to be Rudy Gobert. Now O'Neal going in and a good drive here for Royce O'Neal. Royce O'Neal's not giving up this yet, so it looks like he might have to try something else out there to lead off with the run. Powell, back to Brunson, back to Powell, right to Donovich. Donkic, off to Bullock, six on the shot clock. Kenny Smith, out of time, and he goes up. Rebound by Donkic, and he gets it back in there. Donkic has 12 points in the game. No other players have scored their run on the perfect timing. But he's the only man that scores him. And Mike Conley, another big drive. Another defensive breakdown, and it's giving him trouble. A lot of trouble that's going in there. You, if you're not ready, then you better be ready. Powell, around Gobert. Fates, finds Bullock. Up he goes. Very early shot, and that won't count. Another one for Bogdanovich. Now he goes right to Mitchell. Mitchell on Powell. Now he goes right to Gobert. He goes up, and he makes a shot. Another two-pointer here for Gobert, and timeout will be taken for the Mavericks. Oh, 2.04 remaining. We'll be back right after this one, after this intermission. Rudy Gobert, I know he's big man. He knows he can definitely do things again. Some new changes here for the Jazz and the Mavericks. Bertans is checked back in for Powell, and it will be Dinwiddie replacing the ever player, Luka Doncic. Bertans, inside, fades, goes right to Brunson. Brunson hasn't scored that much yet, but he is trying to figure things out to make it big on the board. Kleba, trying to wipe him through, fade around him, and he gets it in there. Kleba gets six points, and the Mavericks are trying to find the answer to make him come back. Clarkson finds Whiteside. Whiteside on Kleba. Now it's Conley, again, on Dinwiddie. Finds Presco, right to Gay, back to Conley. Gay with the screen, does it hit? Conley missed the three-pointer, and another goes in the other way for Barrett's. For Tons, right to Kleba. Kleba back to 
Brunson, right to Brown. And it's knocked away. It was be called on Paschal. Conley finding Gay. Two man cover, rebound. No good. Bertans has the ball back, and we're under a minute left here in a third quarter. Turning out to be a better drive out there. You might be ready to take the another uh, rebound. But Bertans definitely knew he could definitely get there. Dinwiddie around him. Pay off, and it's tipped out. Gay takes the block. And a pass going to two on one, three on one. White side. Bams it down. He goes down on the floor. That was Conley with the assist with a three on one attack. They knew it. White side gets better at that point, but you're not going to do anything better to keep it stride in there. Gay, great D, and now he has the ball. Now he pass off to Pasco. Ten seconds to play in the third quarter. Now he goes in, that's Gay. Slam the dunk, and he goes right on it. Dinwiddie. Taking it back with the buzz beater. It's no good. It's 50 to 33. The Mavericks are in trouble. They get in struggle, but they're not picking up a great pace out there. And we'll be right back after this one. Fourth quarter is next after this. Now it's time to present the assist of the game presented by State Farm. It looks like the average player, man, that the Jazz had. There was a bunch of uh, rumors that they were going for. That was Conley that put up a three. Did the air ball? Most of the time, they really knew they had him. And they are definitely dominating their effort. Not really too good, but it looks like they're just averaging up a bit. They're going to keep it going if they wanted to get even more big and a win. Fourth quarter, ready in action. They're out about to start for the last regular regulation period of the game. Now, Clebo inside, rejected by another man on the Jazz. They are going back to back with them with the pace run. Unbelievable. And the three is on. We are back again for another facing three pointing contest. Conley, right to Gay, back to Clarkson. Screen, rejected. Now he's Conley. He gets caught. White side in the wing. Shot clock down to six. Gay over Dinwiddie. It's rebounded by Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie receiving his first rebound here in the game. And we have a little average in between the rebounds by Mavericks and Jazz. Well, most of all, that the Jazz really does face it out. I'm expecting that we might be uh, looking for another player that could definitely do it again. Bertans, Cleva up, very late, and it went off balance. Not good at offense. You want to get better at that point, and Gay slams it down. Timeout has been released on Mavericks. Looks like the players are definitely getting tired at that point because there was a great ball movement. The Jazz are extending the lead during the first game. And just like the last game, you know that the Sixers couldn't make the win. But that time, it really happens. It hurts most people. But they they will never try to like take the uh, take the second secondary uh, lineup into the uh, starting lineup. They might need to go for another look here to get better off. And after a new changeup here for the Mavericks and the Jazz, there are a couple of uh, players that definitely need some rehydration, except for Mike Conley. And all five players, except for Brunson, all four players are checked out, and now they want to get back into work. Donkic, right over into it, fading up, he got it through! Now he has the fadeaway in there, and they are still answering it back. Luka Doncic, he knows he can definitely play better, but his most of all of his average, he needs to know his, his uh, spirit. Mitchell going in, Rudy Gobert finds O'Neal. Utah looking for another pass off, he finds Conley. Another miss by Utah. Great D on Luka Doncic, he knows that he can definitely handle it through. Doncic back to Powell. Watching to avoid the van of a steal. 
Finney Smith backs up away on McGonovich. The Mavericks needs to get in there, and he got it! He went down before the shot was being on, and oh boy, he's now injured. Uh-oh, that's not good. That is not good. You know what the man was getting in there, and he was being bumped out. Right now, Luka Doncic will have to sit out in the fourth quarter of the first game. We are expecting to see what could the replacement be if he gets another one to be injured. Now it will be Dinwiddie replacing Doncic. I think Doncic has, has gotten a little knee injury in report, but we'll wait and we'll have to see if a replacement gets nearby. Finney Smith takes a steal. Brunson, right to Powell. Back to Brunson. Now he picks a screen for Powell. Brunson, driving forward in the paint, and it will be off target again. Great D on Gobert. Yeah, Gobert, uh, he's, he's a bear handler, he's a catcher. And McDonovan scores! Our extension has been pulling back in there for a night. Eight points in paint. Now it's two minutes left here for the fourth quarter and an offensive foul has been called. Dinwiddie has received a charge and with one more block here by Mobile One. Yeah, you know, you know if a player gets in there with an outstanding run in a defensive offensive look, that strategy is pulling up here on white side for his first block of the game. Mavericks on D. Now here's Conley. He goes right to Gobert on Powell. Shoots over Powell. That's another miss by the Jazz. Facing back the airway is Dinwiddie. In alone, driving side. And that will be another two pointer for Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie gets a little better, but his driving is average. He knows that he could definitely be like Kyrie Irving. If he wants to look like him, well, you just got to step up into it a little more. Mitchell off again, and he did it again. That's another point average lead, and there, he's down by five points over McDonough. Uh, Don Kitcher scored 16 points. Finney Smith, no average of his pointer, but he will tonight. He finally earned it with a Finney Smith two-pointer. Finney Smith been quiet so far. Now he has the average to take his points in the game. Conley rolling around. Trying to face a steal, but he will not as another drive-in goes by. Mike Conley on the run. I don't know what his average is, but he's turning out to be just great like he is today. Pulling. Back to Powell. Right over to Dinwiddie for three, and it's early and rebounded by Conley. Now he goes right to Mitchell. Mitchell on Brunson, finds Gobert, pushes in the paint. He goes up, and he makes a shot. Rudy Gobert with another two-pointer, and they are extending it up 60-44. to 44. Brunson fades back to Bullock. Inside now is Powell. Powell, dish off to Dinwiddie, five and a clock, Dinwiddie no problem here, and that will be a number two pointer for Dinwiddie, without Luka Doncic, it will be the first loss for the Mavericks in the first game, expecting this one, because those players are doing really well, the fifth seed upsetting the fourth seed, <laughs> well that's no different, no use of it all the time, they really need to know how to get there. And Dallas, it gets a defeat. It's 60 to 46 final score in the first game. The Jazz lead the series by one. And now it's time to finish the game as we go down to the sideline. Reporter David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Rudy. Donovan Mitchell huge, of course, tonight. How great is it to have him on your side? Uh, it's great. You know, it's great. He's, uh, you know, he's a great teammate, he's a great player, and uh, you know, we're going to need him. He's one of the championships, so you know, it's, it's a big part of what we do. And he was big tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. 
Thank you, DA. Rudy Gobert was a better play at the defense, and he looks like he is the New Balance player of the game. Rudy Gobert, with a great run of his effort of the first game, he will be back here for the second game for the rematch at Dallas. It will be him coming back here for for next uh, next game. But right now, let's take you to the three star players of the game. Starting off, we have his number three. This one turns out to be just upsetting. It was Luka Doncic pulling up 16 points, three rebounds, and only assist. And just a block that he had, got a piece of it. He knows him really well, but that's all he has. And with the report of injury, it was the unknown right angle injury. I don't know what the definition is, but you know that right angle injury went out, he gave up here in the fourth quarter. Well, I thought he was going to finish it all, but he fell just short. And Spencer Dinwiddie will have to replace him. All right, I'll take number two. Number two we have here is the Jazz. That was Rudy Gobert, the New Balance player of the game. That was six rebounds, ten points, and he didn't get a block at, it at that point. Some of our players did give him a block, like it's Gay, or even, of course, Clarkson. I'd pull him back again. And your take on number one, Son of Beast. Who do you have here? Um, yeah, we always have the winner. That was Donovan Mitchell. 11 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, and just a 1 dunk. Really did pay him off the uh, ending, but that was a great uh, coverage that he did on the court. Really well done. And that is it for the first game of the completion of the Western Conference and the playoff spot of the game number 1. Game 2, coming up, will be the next one to face things on. Bucks and Cavs happening here on Tuesday. And then, back in Western Conference, it will be the Suns and Pelicans. Tune with us next time here on Son of Beast. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because if you don't, somebody will. Good night in Dallas and peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. This is me, Son of Beast, along with Beat Phone. We'd like to see you for the next game. Take cake home safe there, fellas.